hello friends in this lecture we will continue with pattern feature and we will know about next type of pattern that is circular pattern this type of pattern is created in case of circular geometries now to understand this i go to open and i select circular pattern from here now inside this we can see we have created a circular object and here we have a rectangular slot now i want to create the pattern of this slot to create this go to this pattern feature and then first thing we need to do is select the type of layout so select circular from here and after that it is asking feature to pattern so select this feature so zoom in here and select it we can also select it from the model tree just click on this rectangular slot too zoom out and then we need to specify the rotational vector so this vector will specify the axis of rotation so specify the vector we know that this vector will pass through the center of the circle so what i can do is i can select the perimeter zoom in here and select this perimeter surface that is face so it will automatically select this axis or the center of this circular part and here we can see the preview of these patterns again in the parameters so in case of circular the parameters are defined in the angular directions so first thing it is count and pitch then count and span and pitch and span so let's say i select count and pitch so as we know the total angle is 360 degree so the count is so let's say this is 30 okay the count is let's say i want 12 count and the angle between them is 30 degree so total will be 360 i click okay now we can see the circular pattern has been created so once again i go to pattern feature double click on this and here we can select this second option that is called create concentric members make a check on this so concentric members means we can specify one more row of the patterns so let's understand this so pitch distance is so let's say this distance is 25 okay let's increase this value to 40 to have a better view so this is the distance between these two patterns so this value let's say this is 50 okay 50 is good and then count so number of count we can select 1 2 when i select include first circle it will include this inside part click ok and now we can see we have two rows of pattern so that is the advantage of selecting this concentric option go to pattern feature once again in the parameters we have similar option like count and pitch count and span and pitch and span in case of this circular part the total span will be in form of degrees so total degree is 360 degree for complete rotation now we can also specify the increment as we have already done in linear patterns one more thing we can see is the orientation so let's open this option of orientation click on this arrow now we have follow pattern and then same as input so by default it is selected as follow pattern let's cancel this and here we can see the orientation of patterns so the pattern has been rotated with respect to the orientation now let's change this option double click here and go to this orientation click this arrow and select same as input so go to this pattern feature make a right click and go to edit parameters and here go to orientation and then select same as input click ok and now we can see the orientation has changed now these are following the orientation that is of input so that is the difference between selecting this orientation option so in this way we can create these circular patterns